Hello, fourth graders. Welcome back from your vacations. Um, I hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to review WH words, verbs, and adjectives. Let's begin. WH words. We are going to review WH words. We have who as a person, what is a thing or an action? When is a time? Where is a place? Why is the reason something happened? And how is a number or the way something is done? Let's see some examples of WH words. Who is your best friend? What time is it? When are you coming to my house? Where do you live? Why does the rain fall? And finally, how did you do that birthday cake? Now we're going to review the verbs in the past. So, today we're learning to review affirmative, negative, and interrogative sentences in the past. That means that we use verbs in the past simple to express the idea that an action started and finished. What are some common time expressions? Last year, long ago, last month yesterday. How to write sentences in the past. Pay a lot of attention in this part. We have first affirmative sentences. Our subjects, here we have some pronouns that represent the subject in a sentence. If to the pronoun we add a verb in the past, like ate, that is the past tense of eat, plus some extra information, rice and chicken, we get a, sentences in, a sentence in the past. Let's see another example. Let's choose they. They played football yesterday. That is the example in the affirmative. Let's go now. How to write sentences in the past in the negative sentences, the opposite of affirmative. Again, we have the subject of the sentence. And there are some pronouns. Plus, let's see, we have didn't or did not. But it's an auxiliary verb plus the verb in its infinitive way. That means we are not putting it in the past. Not this verb, okay? And then we add extra information, rice and chicken. And we get, is he eating rice and chicken? No, he didn't eat. Since this auxiliary verb is in the past, this one must stay in its infinitive way. Let's see another example. They didn't or did not play football yesterday. So, they didn't play. And let's go to the next example that is interrogative sentences. When you're asking something, we have the auxiliary verb did plus the subjects of the sentence. Here are the pronouns plus the verb in infinitive, we're not putting the verb in the past. Plus extra information, 
We have did you eat rice and chicken? Did he eat rice and chicken? So we have with a question mark because it's a question. Let's go to another example. Did they play football yesterday? Question mark. Because if we don't put question mark, we're not having a question. And finally, let's review adjectives as describing words. We use adjectives to make our writings more interesting and complete. Here we have an example. We're going to find all the adjectives in the following paragraph. You're going to read the paragraph in silence and then you're going to think about all the adjectives in this paragraph. Now pause the video and look for the adjectives. Okay, let's continue. We have scary monsters are found everywhere. Here we have scary, very good. Some are frightening and some are strange. I hope that you found frightening and strange. There are enormous hairy monsters and small fuzzy monsters. Enormous, how are the monsters hairy? And they are also small, small and fuzzy. Some are imaginary like angry trolls that live in dark dump caves or under old wooden bridges. Well, here we have many adjectives. Some are imaginary. They might be like angry trolls that live in how are the places? Dark dump caves or under old wooden bridges. The bridges are old and wooden. Others live in dense, overgrown forests and eat sl slimy, disgusting food. Overgrown, slimy, disgusting. Monsters can be green, red, or black. Green, red, or black. Hello, little monster. And finally, we're going to do a little quiz that is going to have some credits that are going to add up a grade. Now, what you're going to do is that you're going to go back to Google Classroom. You're going to get, click on Google Form. And please don't forget to press NVR once you have finished. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed.